ne amal bi da nan si yow lo xamne ken munut la ci raw bes boko xame la 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 le demal ma xam ci lo taxaw amna lu yag ne law ci yow yow boko xame kon ken du la dane affaire de danan danan dum talen ken jay dana dan talen tv yen yay dana you know the deal this is your boy by barhama i'm watching gambian talent tv bis bu nek ay na amen keep watching these guys yay dana nit ku bax da fa yomul boko amé dang koy kagn soko kagnul kan ngay kagn te kagn ngay kagn gor ci judula ci deret lay daw te ci jikko lay feñu gor ci judula man dal de ti pona la man abdou gité sek ma ngi sétane gambian talent tv et di wax suma soppé yépp nañ koy sétane bu bax ndax te yefi doyna wa safna sap machallah and the representative of WHO the formal launching of the replacement of you know road signage you know across the country honorable minister as we all know uh, in terms of the governance structure of the road safety in the Gambia the ministry is playing the co uh, the coordinating function because you have you know various you know players in terms of Uh, road safety emergency post care response that one the ministry of health is the lead and in terms of enforcement you have the police and in terms of road safety engineering the national roads authority is the one you know taking the lead in that process and every year in the beginning of the year the road safety working groups you know come together to bring some on activities that are to be implemented by the 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 working group which is later approved by the the committee under the chairmanship of the honorable minister so an important component this year or activity that you know the working group intends to implement is the replacement of you know road signages across the country because this has been identified as a very big you know challenge uh, because not that you know nra they don't install the road signages because upon completion of all new projects in the country nra ensures that you know the proper signages are installed but sometimes you know due to vandalism and other you know the signage signages you know are missing and we have reached to a point where we think that we have to launch a program where we will uh, mm -hmm. uh, be replacing the 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 signages you know across the country so on that note uh, i have the singular honor to hand over to you the honorable minister to give a brief you know statement productive remark um i would also want to recognize the presence of the honorable minister of transport works and infrastructure honorable ibrahim asila the permanent secretary uh, colleagues from the nra the ministry of course the the media fraternity uh as i yes uh we nra is responsible for uh road safety engineering and by that we mean the road infrastructure including of course the signages why the signages because if we want people to use the roads properly they have to be you know directed as to how to do so uh, as the saying goes if you go to the airport uh, the of course the sea the, the seaports uh, the ships and the airplanes rely, uh, rely on navigational aids to be able to you know to land and to you know to take off and then. the same thing applies to roads um people needs to be the drivers the road users needs to be directed as to how to use the road responsibly uh, and by that we want to make sure that all uh roads 
where possible, are equipped with signs to tell them how they need to behave when they use the roads. Uh, because the road signs we have behind us here, as you can see, we've got uh, 30 kilometers per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. Those are the pace signs we normally see on the roads. But when you come to road infrastructure design, normally the design speed is more than what is paced. Because if a road is 100, designed for 100 kilometers per hour, maybe, you know, for convenience sake, you don't expect drivers to be flying at 100. Fine, the road is designed for that, but you don't expect drivers to maximize that. So there is also a safety factor in road design as opposed to how the roads are also being used by road users. So this is the thing. So they, people should understand between, they should be able to draw a line between what the, the, the design speed of a road the, uh, on a road, on a particular road, and the posted signs. They are two different things. Normally, the, the design speed supersedes what is posted. As I said, bearing in, in mind the safety factor, which is marginal, you know, in a sense. So this is what we are doing. As you said, as uh, all roads are commissioned with signs. But as you know, this is life. Uh, through pilfering, through accidents, through that, we tend to lose them over time. So the occasion, this occasion today is to replenish some of those missing signs we have on the road network. So this is what we intend to do here today, to enable the police to, to also carry out enforcement in the way it's supposed to be. Because uh, time and time again, we, when we discuss with the police, they say, we cannot hold the drivers responsible because the speed signs are not shown. How do you tell a driver that you are over speeding? What is the sign, what is the speed limit? If, if, it, if we have 50 posted and a driver moves at 70 and 80, then you can find him for overspeeding. But where the signs are missing, then it becomes a problem. You know, enforcement. I'm so. Once all these signs are posted on, on our road, enforcement will also be enhanced. Um, going further, the Banjul Serakunda Road, for example, is designed for a speed of 80. But normally, the, you know, what we see on the road is signs of 70 to make sure that people, but now for all those categories of road, we want to reduce the, 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 the speed limit to 50. And we hope by doing this, of course, road safety and road order crashes and accidents will also be, 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 will, will also be reduced. So this is what we intend to do. And for urban roads, you know, urban circulation, we are bringing it down to 30 where possible. And I'm sure that, that also will have an impact on some of the uh, the crashes and accidents we, we have been seeing over the years. So this is the occasion today. We have bought 172 uh, reflective, highly reflective signs. And, and of course, we'll buy more because this would not suffice for the whole network. But over time, we'll also increase, you know, and procure more so that, uh, of course, our whole network can be covered with signs as I said, to also facilitate not only enforcement, but also for other road users as well. Because as you can see, it's a multiple of signs, not only road signs, but where u turn should be, where stop signs should be, where give way signs, and of course, where school signs are. So it's a, it's a comprehensive uh, sort of outage when it comes to road safety. So it's not only targeted to drivers, but also pedestrians, school zones where children can cross the road, you know, uh, without... Uh, you know, uh, without some of the dangers they are facing through, uh, having to go through uh, presently. So on that note, Honorable Minister, Permanent Secretary, colleagues, and of course, uh, Mr. Gazawa, uh, this is what we intend to do, and this is what the occasion, Honorable, is all about. I thank you very much. I know quite for quite a long time now. I know him with hard work, you know, since he was in the media fraternity, and I'm up to now, it's the same thing. So... It is not anything new, I mean, uh, new to me. And of course, uh, the deputy, uh, the permanent secretary himself, I think uh, I know him also, who was with the Minister of Education before, basic and second. So again, we are happy to have a good team here. And my own brother, uh, Mr. Semor, director of um, National Road Authority, and by extension, the entire um, working group, road safety working group, of course, we are, we as an organization recognize this effort of the ministry. Let me take it uh, from here that uh, we recognize your efforts because this is a complex phenomenon. It cannot be handled by a single entity. 
But again, what the international community recommends is to have a head. A head means that you have to have a coordinator. Otherwise, things will fall apart. So we are seeing that Gambia is implementing that by having first a lead agency responsible for coordinating road safety, which is the Minister of Transport. Fantastic. Again, the ministry has not enabled that. It says now we need to have a technical working group, which is again a multi-sectoral one. And that's the dimension, that's the direction that the world needs in you know, countries to follow. And then I'm glad the ministry, the Gambia is on that track. So for us in the United Nations system, all we can say is to thank the Ministry of Health, the uh, Ministry of uh, Transport, and we will be rallying behind you. What we are seeing here is a demonstration of I mean, your commitment to implementing global standards, global requirements, global strategies, global action plans for road safety. One of them key is road safety education. And this is exactly what we are here for. Road safety education is important because these are the communication tools, like my brother has said. You and I may not be on the road. The police cannot be having 24 hours on the road. But we need to have communication tools that will talk, that will help the drivers that will communicate with the drivers or even the pedestrians. So I'm glad that this is happening and this is the way to go. We will be rally behind you. And then I can assure you that this is the direction to go. And, and I can assure again, Honorable, that you are on the right track. We are, we are happy with this system because already there is a system in place. And one thing, in, one important thing I am so much impressed about is the speed limitation, the speed limit. My brother has said speed is a killer. One third of all the road crashes that is influenced by speed. So you can imagine out of the 1.35 million people who die every year you know, on our roads globally, you know, one third of this or more is due to speeding. And that speeding has to be really checked. And the only way we can check it is to make sure that we have communication tools. So we are glad that this is happening and we need to really continue this momentum alongside with physical you know, contacts. That's where we can really engage our people who may not be able to read and read. And I'm glad that the committee, Honorable Minister, because I'm part of it, uh, we are part of it, that they are moving towards this direction. La not long ago, there was a whole sensitization of schools. And these are some of the signs I was very happy in the road, I mean, road, I mean, National Road Authority, my brother Mane is there, he's lovely, he was there. And the entire team, including WHO, we were all there, we were going to the schools. And believe me, the schools uh, authorities were so happy. And that shows the dynamism, that shows the, you know, collaborative nature that we want, we are all trying to, you know, encourage. Because it's not one size fits all. It's not one entity that can do everything. So we are happy that the Gambia is on track and we will continue to support you. On that note, all I can say is to thank you sincerely from the bottom of our hearts to express our, you know, gratitude to you, the work that, the good work that the ministry is doing and the entire, you know, of course, committee, um, you know, that is responsible for coordinating road safety in this country. We thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. Let me also stand on existing protocol to recognize the presence of uh, the permanent secretary, the managing director of the National Road Authority and his senior staff, the representative of uh, the WHO, Mr. Gassama, my own very good brother, our director of transport and all others uh, present here, invited guest, the media. Thank you so much for making it to this very, very important event. Um, the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure is very keen to continue to work with uh, critical stakeholders across the country to enhance safety on our roads. And the supply of uh, some of these uh, safety equipment and materials today could not have come at a better time. When we have seen over the last few years an increase in the number of road accidents that we have been witnessing in this country due to a number of factors, but more so over speeding. And one of the ways to reduce or to deal with over speeding on our roads is definitely to have proper signages across the length and breadth of the roads that are heavily used by vehicles. Indeed, 
The ministry has been working with other critical stakeholders like the Transport Union and, of course, the Ministry of Interior through the Gambia Police Force and the media, particularly radio and television, to enhance and accelerate our public uh, information and messaging strategy on road usage. But this has to be actually complemented by the availability of road signages to not only help the police enforce and enforce effectively, but to also help other road users and passengers to enhance their safety on the roads. Therefore, the ministry will continue to work with our critical stakeholders to ensure that uh, we have as much as possible proper signages on all our roads that we are building, especially on major highways like the Buses, uh, Soma, Brikama Highway, the Trans Gambia, the North Bank, and also the Greater Banjo. Interestingly, the Gambia is witnessing a phenomenal organization, and this also comes with some of the attendant risk of uh, more accidents on our roads, and this definitely needs to be tackled, and tackled as a matter of urgency, so that we can deal with uh, some of these challenges that we have on our roads. Last year alone, with the statistics that we have seen, we have more than 300 deaths associated with road accidents. And we have more than 500 uh, fatal injuries associated with road accidents. With proper synergies, signages on our roads, some of those things can be reduced. We also call on the road users, particularly the drivers, to pay great attention to some of these uh, signs so that when you are approaching a community or a village or a settlement on the highway, you will know that uh, this is the speed with which you have to drive on. It is sad though that um, in the last few months we have seen a number of communities taking the initiative by themselves to erect structures on the major motorways as a result of fear of uh, overspeeding that normally result to serious accidents in their communities. That should have been the responsibility of the government and our critical stakeholders. Now that you know we are we have accelerated our efforts to ensure that these road signs are available all over. We call on the drivers to make, to make good use of them, to respect the road signs, and to also respect the traffic rules. That in itself will go a long way in helping us reduce these fatal road accidents on our roads. But also remember that uh, overspeeding does not only affect the adjacent communities that are on our major roads, but in some cases they claim the life of even the driver himself or herself that is overspeeding. So we call on everyone to be responsible to make good use of uh, the road signs and the signages that are now being made available, especially in the greater Banjul area, and to ensure that traffic rules are respected so that together we can all live safely and use the road safely for the benefit of all of us. I want to take this opportunity to most profoundly thank the National Road Authority for the efforts they have made in providing these uh, signages that are to be used on our roads. But I also take this opportunity to thank the 
national committee that has been set up and led by this ministry, the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, to enhance safety on our roads. They have been doing a phenomenal job. They have been doing major campaigns in the media, and they have been working with the, uh, the transport union and other critical stakeholders to ensure that um, safety is enhanced on our roads. But we have a long way to go. We have done a lot, but we still need to do more. Attitudinal changes, the infrastructure needs to be improved. Um, the protective signs need to be available all over. And the police also have to enforce and enforce effectively and efficiently. If we all do our work, and the drivers and the road users will also have to show responsibility in ensuring that uh, they care for their lives, they care for the lives of uh, the, ro the other road users, but also they care for the lives of uh, communities that lie directly on some of these routes. On that note, let me once again assure all of you of the resolve of uh, the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure to continue to work with all the critical stakeholders to enhance safety on our roads, but to also ensure that uh, we provide the necessary infrastructure to help us achieve the desired goals. On that note, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for having it, uh, for making it to this uh, morning's event Despite your numerous busy schedules, you are able to make it to the event today. And now we will uh, hand over the equipment or the signages to the various uh, stakeholders that will work with us uh, in this important and critical endeavor. Thank you. Read in this country was at its peak. The, the Ministry of Transport and the NRA each contributed to each, uh, one each uh, pickups, um, to, Toyota, Toyota, Toyota Land Cruisers given to the police. Um, good morning to you all, the Honorable Minister and the Permanent Secretary, and uh, good morning to the NRA and the WHO. And the, the Director of Transport, uh, Mr. Isa Drame, and uh, good morning to you all. Um, we are very happy today to be here as the, this presentation um, is very important. As the Transport Union, uh, we are very happy to um, um, receive this uh, presentation here because um, we all know the, the rural condition in this country, obviously, uh, much especially this uh, greater Banyun area. Like, uh, we don't have road signs in uh, our traffic. And this um, diff uh, more challenges to some of our drivers because um, like there are so many drivers out in our road. I think um, it will be very, very important so that the drivers also will um, be able to, able to know um, we are to uh, overspeed and not to overspeed, and uh, the, likewise the U-turns and the, like the school gates and uh, space like that. So we are very happy here to speak on, on behalf of the drivers, and uh, we will also urge the drivers and um, let them not ignore the signboards. And uh, the signboards are very, very important on our road. So like, let us not see like um, when we are seeing the police, we have to respect the. Um, um, the traffic signs, but when there is no police, um, we are not uh, we are not going to respect the traffic. Um, these signboards are the police both day and night in our rules. So we have to respect them as we are respecting the the police, and uh, we are respecting the each and each and everyone as the on the road. So therefore, I will take this opportunity to thank all of you and to thank all the drivers, and I thank you so much. Um, thank you, Mr. Honorable. Honorable, for those uh, wonderful words of wisdom. And then we will assure you that uh, we will do everything to our level best to ensure that you know, road safety is, 
you know, improved. Because the kind of collaboration that we have, you know, seen over the years, uh, we are very hopeful that, you know, we'll be able to make a headway. Because what happened before, institutions, you know, were operating in silos. And in road safety, you know, we need to come together, you know, to complement, you know, each other's efforts. So that is the whole idea of uh, ministry being the lead agency to bring, you know, different stake all, uh, stakeholders, you know, together and to coordinate, you know, their, you know, activities. Uh, so uh, we have been in this thing for a very long time, but now uh, at least, you know, we are seeing, you know, some progress is in some of the things, you know, that we are doing. And then we are very hopeful that in the coming years, you know, we'll be able to significantly, you know, reduce the road traffic crisis, you know, in the country. So on that note, uh, the Honorable, uh, may I take, you know, this opportunity for the MD, the National Roads Authority, to demonstrate to you some of the, the, the signs, you know, that they will be installing on, on the roads, yeah. So the, the MD, yes. you can use fuse. Yes. So that shows that if you're approaching a road, it tells you that this is a bend, but then the road goes right to the right, yes. Okay. So it, 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 it's worn straight. Pedestrians normally, in most of the cases, maybe it is accompanies, it, it, it's accompanied with normally a zebra crossing or oh. some form of a, a design over the road where people, uh, drivers will be warned that at least they need to give way to pedestrians yeah. somehow okay. across the road. But in this country are speed related. As I told you, uh, most of the design speeds of some of the trunk roads are more than this. But now we are bringing it down to 50, to 50 hoping that once this is done, at least, of course, uh, that will also help to yeah, we'll talk to they them. Respect this. They respect this, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, you know, one can understand why. And if we apply, if we, if we stick to uh, some of these recommendations, and I, I have no doubt. So this is mainly in urban areas. Yes. So now, by lines and not a solid structure. Yeah. You know yeah. where the median is. You know, line. So the tendency for drivers to do a U-turn there, it's it's very real. Real. So a typical example is one of those roads. Yeah. And we have the intersections, or if you are join, joining the highway from adjacent roads, mm -hmm. you know, you if you come, you just don't go abruptly across the road. You stop and look left, right, and then right again. If there is no vehicle coming, then you can join them. Mm -hmm. So typical, this is very important. And, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, this is also accompanied with zebra crossings. Mm -hmm. And these days, these days, what we tend to do is we put a hump before the zebra and after. Mm -hmm. Because some drivers just don't, they don't, they don't recognize the zebra. Yes. But if you put the homes there, then the children, when they're crossing, even if the driver fails to notice the zebra crossing, at least the hump is there to, you know, yeah. to force them to slow down. So this is very important. Yeah. For urban, you know, setups. Mm -hmm. So really, it's also important, especially where we have markets, Serakunda market and other areas. Mm -hmm. We have seen the police, you know, over the years, they've been improvising. Okay. You know, with their own science, but this is there now to, to count. It tells you that there is a zebra crossing ahead. Um, and the driver should slow down. should slow down to give way, of course, give priority to the pedestrians to cross over. Yeah. So, okay. So that the road narrows down ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the full width of the carriageway here. But once you get here, it tells you that with this size, it tells you that be careful. The node, it's not the full carriageway that you have in front. So the node tends to narrow down ahead of you. So you slow down. Mm. Again, is you know it's a slow down message mm. as well. Yes.
ne amal bi da nan si yow lo xamne ken munut la ci raw bes boko xame la 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 le demal ma xam ci lo taxaw am na lu yag ne law ci yow yow boko xame kon ken du la dane affaire de ndanan ndanan dum talen ken jay ndana dum talen tv yen jay ndana you know the deal this is your boy bay barhama am watching gambian talent tv bis bu nek ay namin keep watching this guys yay ndanan satisfied If you want to receive monies from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are from Khartoum to Koina with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today.